Hey folks, this video uh, we can take a look into the FIFO scheduler in detail. So how to uh, implement that FIFO scheduler and how to test. So it is a very basic uh, scheduler and simple also. So easy to understand. So it is just like act just like a queue. So to enable uh, FIFO scheduler or change it to FIFO scheduler. So go to the Cloudera manager, yarn, then go to the configuration and search the uh, key with the uh, scheduler okay search it and here you can see uh, the scheduler class so this is the one which we need to change so i want to change it to fifo scheduler so that i need to select this class so this is the class in my previous video i have shown how this class looks like in our resource manager jar file so here it's a template and in backend it's pointing to this jar file so this is the parameter yarn resource manager scheduler class so i have to save that changes and once it is saved so it asks for the restart of the affected component so you can go back to the main page and see this state configuration option so click that stale configuration and redeploy or restart the affected services Okay, so it takes some time because it has to uh, refresh and uh, reload uh, some of the services in yarn and other affected uh, component so we have to wait so now uh, it restarted the service so it's using the fifo scheduler in backend so let me go to the resource manager url so you can go to the cloudera manager and select this web and resource manager and history url so i have bookmarked these two pages here so resource manager ui so if you uh, uh, look into the top so cluster metrics so you can see how many jobs are submitted what are the pending and running and completed so this looks like okay six gig ram and six v cores so i've configured uh, such a way that to use one gig uh, RAM and one CPU V core for each uh, container. So the container is nothing but the process JVM process that is used for submitting or running the job. So for every job, so one container will be resource. Uh, I mean allocated for application master, and the remaining containers it used for executing map or reduce task. So now we can have the maximum one uh, application. Ma we have six containers, one application master, and uh, six. Uh, I mean the five other uh, uh, for mapper or reduce job. So let me try to run uh, some uh, sample map reduce job. Simple uh, example jar file. So uh, here I have two users. So dev one and the second user is prod one. So I'm going to submit a simple example uh, jar file. So for calculating pi with 100 mappers and uh, 50 map uh, samples per map. So uh, let me submit this job. So I'm submitting. Uh, okay. So I think uh, I don't have a, a home directory. So let me uh, create it uh, one. Okay. So that was because I have not created the home directories for the user prod1 and dev1 so I use uh, I switch to HDFS super user that is HDFS and created the home directory for each user and change the permission so this is for prod1 user similarly I did for dev1 also okay so l let me run the job again okay so it just uh, started the map reduce job okay so this is the job id and uh, if i go to the my cluster resource manager ui so i can see this job is running and uh, for more details i can click uh, here and uh, go go that details but uh, so at the same time i'm submitting uh, the same job uh, here uh, with another user prod1 okay so the prod one user so he submit the user and do the whatever the pre calculation it do everything but this job will not start okay so you can see till here after that there won't be any progress so if i go to the this page you can see this is an accepted state 
so dev1 is the first job submitted so he will get the complete priority so whatever the resources okay so containers we have as i said we have six containers and everything is allocated to this job only so even if i keep refresh and sometime so there won't be any change so this won't get any resources because the dev1 is the job uh, person who submitted the job first so the first priority is for him so definitely he need uh, 100 uh, mappers to run and uh, uh, so after completing his job then only uh, is um, i mean after his resources requirement is over so then only the prod one or the next job will start so we will have to wait some time and also you can see the details okay so what are the uh, uh, let me copy this ip so uh, application master i think since it's using this local ip address so it's a bit difficult for me to track yeah so let me use that this option and uh, you can see uh, 80 around 81 is completed okay so it's near to the end and also we will uh, keep look here and still uh, it is in running and this is in accepted so accepted means so no resources allocated so you can see the containers running zero we allocated we course allocated memory everything is zero and uh, application master also not assigned because it has to get one uh, uh, I mean uh, container then only the application master can start but in FIFO scheduler so once the first job completed okay so I think again it's pointing to uh, this IP so I have to add yeah I think this is completed now if I look here and do a refresh I can see now earlier it was unassigned the application master started once application master started then it start so now the complete uh, resources is uh, given to the broad one so this is how the FIFO scheduler works so the first priority is for the first job so whatever the resources he need so he will give to him so second again if I submit another job so that won't run uh, so okay so from the dev one I am submitting the again the same job so this job won't run until the prod one job completes so if i look here and i can see that it's okay so the second job it has i think we have to wait yes it's in accepted state so this is from dev one and dev one has to wait till this job finish so the, this acts just like a queue so those who submitted the first one will get the highest priority and whatever the resources he need allocated him so after that if any resources available then only it will give to the next jobs so if that job require all the resources then we'll give to them so this is how fifo scheduler works so i hope you are clear with this content or this topic so please subscribe my, my channel to get more updates thank you bye